I will start you. They will be by election and we will defeat you. By a disciplinary note, I am sucking now. Now I'm sucking Sakafutwa. And I'm also sucking Shikomba Milimu. I am taking them. I am taking them to the NEC. I will suck them from the party as well. Memories of his dismissal are still fresh, but Jonas Chakafuswa has fond memories of former President Rupia Banda. Mr. Chakafuswa shares his memories of the former president. We used to have lunches with his son Henry most of the times. So when um, I was appointed um, Deputy Minister of Finance, he was also appointed Vice President at the same time. And um, we used to have a very good cordial relationship with um, uh, Honorable Rupi Banda. I think things just got ahead when um, President Manawasa died and there was this thing on who should uh, take over as president. He says he does not hold a grudge against the former president for firing him because that was part of growth in leadership. To see the goodness is like each time we would meet, he would open up to me, my nephew, my nephew, my nephew, and would warm up. Um, we, we met several times, and each time he would see me, uh, he would even uh, he would be seated, but he would stand to hug me, uh, calling me my nephew. So I think uh, with time, such things you, you move on. Yeah, with time, such things you move on. The former Katuba member of parliament has described Mr. Banda as a good man. And um, personally, President Rupia Banda was a very pleasant person. Uh, he had a very pleasant personality. He was one very good person you could sit down with, you could sit down and talk to. And I remember we were very, very close because most of the times when, whenever President Manawasa wanted to have people around him, he would call me with my wife, uh, President Rupia Banda with a wife. Uh, George Mpombo with a wife, and would sit at state house. For Mr. Shakafuswa, what he holds now to a fond memories of former President Rupia Banda, the man most people only call Dara B. Hector Simfukwe, ZNBC News, Lucy.